Are you singing? <laughs> Are you singing? My turn. Are you all singing? Okay. Rory, do it. <laughs> she wants you to have a turn, Jace. Mila's turn. Is it time for Mila's turn? Can Mila have a turn? Oh, you're a good girl, Mila. Mila. Bald. She's not bald. She's got lots of hair. <laughs> She's got a little bit. She oh, has. And Aurora only just woke up. Just this minute. Didn't you? Yep, yeah, so she slept longer than me. But she did. She slept the longest. But Jace, you slept really <laughs> long. <laughs> you slept really long as well. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh. One thing I remember about all of our van trips is Jace used to wake up on the morning, look out the window and say, Where are we? What country are we in? So cute. The view, out this, the view outside this morning is not quite as desirable as often, but we had a very good night's sleep all the same, didn't we? Yeah. Good morning from the cosy camper at another, is this an air? No, no, it's just a services. Oh, a service station. Uh, we are about 15 minutes from the city of Bern here in Switzerland and we just booked a campsite that claims to offer free transport into Switzerland city, uh, into Bern city centre. However, what, go on, what are you rolling your eyes at? No, I was going to say about the air, but obviously the prices are hiked up on the actual picture, so really it's just they're just accommodating the, <laughs> the cost of the transport in the picture yeah. price. But it's like £65 per pitch for our family, so that's like the most expensive campsite I think we've for one night. I swear we could have got a hotel for that price. <laughs> that includes electricity not, and water, right? No, Switzerland is expensive. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like £65 for a night, but that's all good. We do get free public transport. Oh, you don't get free lecky with that either. Lecky's like four, euro, four francs, isn't it, on top of that? That's crazy. Yeah, I know, man. Do we have any lights in here? It looks dark. Yeah, of course. Do we have any lights here? You're tripping. I meant, I mean, can you just put the lights on? <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what we did today. We're actually going to do something, to, uh, not, not tomorrow, but the next day, here in Switzerland, that I am, we booked it last night. So I'm just, I'm s genuinely so buzzing for this. Yeah, we just need to find somewhere that we can we're back the van. yeah so not tomorrow but the next day we're doing something incredible here it's something that we desperately wanted to do the last time we're in switzerland why didn't we do it was weather, it the weather the weather came in yeah it was the weather wasn't it the weather came in in summer 22 after lake brins we got really good weather that day and then the weather came in the next day but we we went to the we went to a place called grindelwald i remember that place to, to leave the van whilst we were going to go do this thing but the weather came in and it wasn't going to clear up for a week McLaren, yeah, that's right, and we didn't do it, but oh, I, I literally can't wait. I cannot wait. It's so exciting. Um, so we're going to do that not tomorrow, but the next day. We've got a little. A, we're doing something cool in Bern today. We have been to Bern before once, but we didn't do what we're doing today. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then it's just nice to have a walk around the city, and it's obviously the yeah. capital of Switzerland, so it's really cool. It's got loads of cool history and things. So I am excited for today as well. However, because we're in the van and also the caravan, a city centre and a big vehicle like this is just not going to work. So we booked a campsite. That it's only about half an hour walk into the centre. I, right? you know, I kind of feel confident that I could probably find somewhere in Bern. I remember last time we found quite a few places for this winter last time. Oh well, we've booked the site now. Yeah. Anyway. Um, we can't check in the campsite for an hour, can we? Can't check in until midday, so uh, yeah. we've just been sat around waiting. The little three were, Esme, not Esme, sorry, Jason and Mila were desperate to get to the girls' caravan. All morning, can we go see the girlies? <laughs> Wanna go see the girlies? The girlies. <laughs> the girlies, that's what Mila's been saying, it's been so sweet. So Esme just came over, what did, oh, to put her iced coffees in our fridge. She's like, can you, what well, are iced coffees that they made this morning fit in your fridge? And then, that's not what she's done to Yeah, she's put the, her, ice, her and Isabel's ice coffees in our fridge. And then um, Aurora had been really cute, so she went, do you want to come to my van? And then Jason and Miller was like, we do! So they're all in there now, we're just putting the van back together, moving all the beds, yeah, popping the car seats back in, and getting it ready to go. Let's go see the girlies. The girlies. The girlies. Look how cool that caravan is beside us. Let's go see the girlies! Oh, look at Aurora! 
time. Oh. And they come up and say hi. Mm. Oh, hi, darling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lizzie, mommy. We're going to go get you a dress. He's trying to climb out the window. Go, go, out go, go, go around to the door. I love this retro, um, the retro caravan door. It's so good. I wanted to open this door, right? Felix, it was really hot. This is a nice door to open. But all right, we kept trying to crawl out the door. So I forgot we had that little door. Are you in a little dread? Are you in Trailer Swift? Trailer Swift. <laughs> Thanks to the iFam that gave us that idea. The girls were calling it the trailer version. But it's now Trailer Swift. Swift. Trailer. Love it. Love it. What's going on in there? What's going on? You're just chilling. Cute. Come in then you. Let's go. And we are here. Cute little cabin. Chris has just gone to check us in. <laughs> So both rigs all set up side to side. The only thing we need to do is get the awning out now and pull it all the way over the caravan. And then we've got a nice little canopy. The shade is from the rain. Because unfortunately, the weather is not loving us today. It wasn't bad when we woke up and the chance of rain this afternoon was like a 40% chance, but it's definitely raining now. And it doesn't look like it's gonna clear until like seven or eight tonight. So we're gonna have to go brave it, I think, anyway. Because we've only got one day here and we wanna make the most of it. So I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the campsite name that we're at because I won't be able to do it right. Fine, I'll try. So we're staying at a campsite called Camping Ice Holes, I think. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, so if I pronounce that wrong, I'm really sorry. We really wanted to stay here in summer 22, but it was fully booked out during the time that we were here in Switzerland. So we were buzzing to see that they had actually two pitches left this morning, so we were lucky to get this one. But this campsite was, we wanted to come to last time was because it's based right on the River Ar. Again, if I'm sorry, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, A-A-R-E, which is the main river running through Bern. And it's very famous because this river, people literally use this river for public transport. You literally jump in the river. So let's just say you start at this campsite and you want to go into town, into the city center. You jump in the river here, the river rapids take you all the way around the river, 15 minutes or so floating time and then you get out in the city centre. You dry clothes in a bag, you quickly get changed on the banks, and off you go. And people literally use the river here to go from work back to home, or from home to work. It's nuts. Me and Esme actually did this last time we were here. We jumped in from the city centre, or somewhere near there, and we just, we didn't go down too far, we just went down like past two bridges or so. Um, but it was amazing fun. Something we definitely want to do again this time, uh, but the weather needs to chill before then. The weather is supposed to be really nice from tomorrow. We're moving on to somewhere different tomorrow, but maybe in the morning we could still hit the river before we end up kicking out. I'll tell you what, guys. I absolutely love paying the best part of £100. Not quite. To, um, for one night at a campsite. For one night at a campsite to um, walk into the city and uh, it'd be absolutely bouncing down the rain so we can't actually do anything. I know, it's so tight because the weather forecast did not say this this morning. It's changed uh, for tomorrow though, sunshine yeah, tomorrow, really tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. But the rain's really heavy right now, so I mean we have umbrellas, we, we could technically still go. Technically we could still go, if it's just us and the older three, I think I wouldn't even be questioning it right now. But we don't, obviously Jason Miller will be walking. It's just not nice, is it, if everyone's dripping wet through. So everyone's just cosy in the caravan right now. And it's too hot for coats, but... Yeah, it's not cold, so it's... It's not very cold, so it'll be too hot for coats, but if we don't wear coats, we'll get soaked. Yeah, if we don't have coats, we'll be soaked. So we're basically... Yeah, look at the... I don't even know if you can see it. Um, you probably can't even see it through the camera lens. 
you have to just trust me that it is actually bouncing it down. Anyway, whilst there's no one in the facilities, I thought I'd show you what we've got going on. So we've got a baby change, a locker, and a washing machine, is that? Oh, no food or drink in the fridge. What's in here then? Ice, by the looks of it. Ice. Ice. Um, we've got a washer and a dryer. They look like they are used with, um, what's it called? They look like they're powered with coin machines. Um, we've got a little baby change thing here. And then out here, we've got a universal WC. All right. We've got a universal toilet. I'll tell you one thing that I blooming love about Switzerland. Are these just toilets, not showers, are they? Yeah, they're just toilets. Is the little extra things you get, like little bags for sandwich towels. You don't usually get those, but you do here. And also, this really impressed me. All take one instead of one take all. I love that. And sanitary products for women who may need them. Um, there's Tampax and also sanitary towels as well. I thought that was really nice, a really nice touch. And then, I don't know if this one's just men's. Oh, there's a disabled one. A men's. Is there a women's? No, it's just all the same. All oh, right, so there's only men's. Oh, it's just because it's urinals, that's why. So there's urinals. What's this one? Oh, this looks like a chemical toilet drop. Uh, this is where you put like your van toilet. You bring it in here, flush it down there. That's Chris's job, not mine. I don't know, it doesn't have a sandwich on the wall, I feel one Ah, maybe, maybe, maybe this used to be like, maybe it used to be men's and women's, but now they've changed it to just universal. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, and then straight out of here, That's we've got a little park. Cute little tractor and things out there. Um, we've got a slide and things like that. You've got tent pitches down by the river. We've got a few games. There's, those are deck chairs over there that look really cool. Uh, what else? Oh, it's absolutely pouring it down. Are you ready? We're just gonna make a run. Go. You got your foot. Yeah. Foot. Come on. Ah. Oh, but I'm not standing in the toilet. Yeah, Come on. And then we've got this nice, cute little recreational area where you can just come and sit. Over here, we have sinks to do a little washing up. And then over this side, which I thought was really cool, you can make your dinner or your lunch or someone making their own cup of tea so I thought these are really cool imagine on a nice day you'll be able to just sit out here yeah, cool. with your family so just like if you do have like a really small space in your van yeah you'll be able to use this space out here I think it's really nice when campsites have extra things going on like this yeah it does make a huge difference yeah, it especially if it's a really hot nice day so yeah you can come and use these facilities and then these two blocks here they're actually, I didn't realise, but they're actually rooms. Should we go show one, Isla? Let's go show one, because there's quite a few empty. You ready to make another dash? Yeah. Go. Go. <laughs> Grab it for me, I'm coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Uh, so they're all different colours. Obviously that one's, this, one. this one's taken, so one I won't show it. It's the bug bed, the bug bed. So... That's the best that I can show it. <laughs> but it's basically really very extremely basic. That is it. Like the door's literally there. And the wall's there. So it's literally just a bunk bed. <laughs> Shishu, Isla. Wait, it's not in the toilet, so you have to walk the toilet before you need it. What? You have to walk the toilet. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's, so I'm guessing that's why those cooking facilities and things are down there as well. But yeah, it's basically literally a bunk bed and another bed. But like I say, this is somewhere that you'd come to just explore Bern, go into the city, explore everything that Bern has to offer. It's not necessarily somewhere that you'd come for a relaxing holiday. I mean, some people probably maybe do, but if you're hiring one of these rooms, my guess is that you're just using it as a base to sleep in. And then you're just gonna either jump in the river to get to the city, which we're not doing. I think the guy said the water was 18 degrees, so that would be a firm no. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice campsite. Yeah, it's, um, it's actually got, I mean, obviously we've paid a fair price, but um, there is quite a lot of facilities. This rain can do one. It's like 2 p.m. now and we've still not left. Yeah. No one wants to leave in the rain. The girl's like, do we have to? And I'm like, well, no, we don't have to, but we kind of don't want to waste the day, you know? Yeah. Winter coats are out. 
I swear this morning we were dressed for like a beach day <laughs> and now we're dressed for the Arctic. <laughs> so the winter coats, they're out. And I don't actually feel bad about it. It feels nice kind of and cozy. Um, although I do still have shorts and t-shirt on underneath because like I said, it's not freezing. It's not actually freezing. Um, and these big winter coats are very warm so I look a bit of a pillock, but it's all good. I have um, taken off the Crocs and popped on the Converse, which actually match my coat, so we won't complain. And Jason and Mila are absolutely having the time of their lives. Mila, this way! Look at her legs going for it. <laughs> Come on! Right guys, we're off the tram. How long was that? It was like 10 minutes? It's not yeah. long at all actually. Ooh, it was about 10 minutes. And now we're we heading... didn't have to go all the way to the Wankdorf. We got off before then. That was yeah. for TikTok. I was filming that, not on the blog. Uh, so we thought we were going to a place called Burn Wankdorf. <laughs> it was on the sign, Burn Wankdorf. But we didn't have to go as far as the Wankdorf, so we got off before <laughs> then. So up, annoying and childish. So we're walking up towards, it's about a 20 minute walk, and it's to the Bear Pit. It's basically called the Bear Pit, where there are real bears. Wow, well, those are cool. We didn't do this before we were here. Um, but I'll tell you more about the bear pit once we actually get there. the Zeitburger. I hope I'm pronouncing that right again. I'm gonna apologize. I think I've apologized a few times in this video for my pronunciations. Maybe that one's right, maybe it's not. But in this 800 year old clock, that's been telling the time for a long time, it has served as a prison, a guard tower, a city monument. It's beautiful. And um, it's uh, one of the main attractions to come and see when you are in Bern. And I think it's every hour, there's some, um, the clockwork figurines start to, to come out and do like a dance on every hour, where we are now. Well, we found oh, the bears. No, wait a minute, we have to sell the back story. So we just, we're walking to a bear park, okay? And I didn't really- Oh, something called the bear pit was what we're, we're the walking bear to. Pit, yeah, let me just turn the tick to come. We're walking towards the bear pit and we get to the bear pit, which is this here. Behind us. Yeah, we'll take you over there and show you in a second. It's like a massive circle, it's got some tunnels in it and there's no bears in it. And then we're all stood over there. Literally, we're stood there for like 15 minutes out and we're going, oh. Super sad, there's no bears really there. Really sad. And then, <laughs> we're like, wait, what's everyone looking at over there? Literally, <laughs> <laughs> the bears are all here. Look at that. What the heck, it's massive. Big old brown bear. So big. Where's the other one gone? There was another one down there. It must have walked off. Is it, did it walk off? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Look at the size of that thing. Hello. It's really cute, man. Oh my gosh, that's so terrifying. Look at the size of its foot. I know, it's massive, man. It's so cool to see bears that are like... I don't think I've ever seen a bear in real life. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever <coughs> actually seen a bear in real life. Guys, look, Jace, look down there. Whoa, that's so cool. It's, it's beautiful, like, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colour of it. I want to go stroke him. No, you don't. Trust no, me. I do. <laughs> no. Shrink it even. I, I want to sit on him. I want to <laughs> snuggle into him. <laughs> do you think you'd eat me? Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think you would? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I think so. Boss man. No, it's not a boss man. Bear. <laughs> I call him boss man. <laughs> it's really cool to see them. To play, yeah, he meant, yeah, he meant to play dead because they thrive on like. Bears and polar bears. <laughs> yeah, you're just done if you see a polar bear, right? You're just done. <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, that was terrifying. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, just. That is so cool, man. Jace? Yeah. Yeah? I, I, I'm not scared of it because they can't even get up here. Well, no, they can't 
to get up here. Yeah, come on, Vila. Yeah, there's a massive bear. And there's another one just down there, but I think he's going for a walk, the other one. So that side is where the bears are now, and this is the old bear pit on the other side. And I guess, oh, not that side, but can you see under there? Yeah. Like in the thing, yeah, I'm guessing it leads somewhere. Jump over and go see. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense because, like, you can do a tour of this though, you can book and do a tour. I think it's open now, but you can do a tour of the old bear pit and the new bear park, apparently. So, yeah, you're supposed to use the oil. We've come to a spaghetti factory and they've brought out some delicious looking breads and a little pot to put all the oils and things in that are on the side here. Because it's like, the pot's empty, where's the mustard? Uh, Listen. Anyway, the girls just went to the toilet to wash the pants. And we've ordered some spaghetti. I've ordered, let me try, oh, she's taking the menu. Yeah, it's basically like, an Alaskan pasta. It looks absolutely divine. How do I get this music off? Fine. As I was trying, as I was trying to say, I was walking in front of Dad, and he turned around and went bam. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we were walking, and Dad had his big umbrella, and I, and I could tell he was swinging it. He was too happy, he was too giddy. He was swinging it back and forth like this, and then my hands like behind him at yeah. the same time. Scrapping. Wow. My one little line. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. What did you girls not... order? You ordered the Vermont. Oh my god, I've got pesto. Some mushroom. Oh, oh no, you didn't, Isla. You ordered pesto. I got ba basil. I would say basil. The basil? I think that's American. Yeah. Basil. Well, I think these oils are basil. Bread, so. Yeah, you mix it too well. No, Dad just went, where's the butter? I oh, know. I oh, know. <laughs> Uh, when the spaghetti factory, do you not know? Uh, no, you don't get to keep the cup down. What on earth is Aurora watching? Right, we've ordered some colas. Coca Coca Cola, five pounds each, and they're not even real Coke, guys. It's not even real Coca Cola. It might be better. It might actually be better. And to be fair, I like the bottle better. And we've ordered some bottles of water as well. These look a bit posh, don't they? What you've got going on? Is it too much? Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> right, let's get some bread. Dinner just arrived. Oh my gosh, I am so happy I went for this. Look how it's hot. Look how delicious this looks. So good. And then Chris got a meatball, a spicy meatball. Isla got the basil. That looks delicious. So good. Good boy, Jace. No, it's quite hard. Jay's got the same as Isabel and Esme, which is the same. Whoa, Esme, you got enough cheese there? Sorry, I just love cheese. <laughs> and it's a good cheese. Yeah. Little Mila Roosevelt got a carbonara. And so did Aurora. Is that good? I told you it's not a carbonara. It's noodles. So it is so cute. Aurora's sharing with Mila. She's loving life. <laughs> They're good. You're standing. Are you joking on your pasta? Careful. Okay. Oh God, it might be a bit big. There we go. Clever girl. To help you. She'll be fine. We're just on our way back to the station to get the tram. But one thing I found about Bern in Switzerland is that there's loads of like side streets off the main street. And whenever you look down the side streets, they're always like have the most spectacular, magnificent buildings right at the end of the streets. Like we've seen a few now, haven't we? Done a few different side streets. And as we were just walking back down that one right at the top there, I was like, oh my God, who was it that's spotted this building? It wasn't me. Esme. I on the way up, I just on the way down. Esme was like, look at this building, should we go see it? I'm like, we have to go see that. And we've just walked down here and it's actually the Bern government parliament buildings. Wow, I'm so glad we came down here. It's absolutely stunning. 
What? I don't like my singing. Laura don't like your singing? No, you. I do. Of course I love it. Right, I'll test. Okay, sing. Now I'll tell you if I love it. Singing? And I went, what? She went, Why are you not like my singing? <laughs> I said, like, I do I love you singing. And she just looked so impressed. I'm like, go on, sing now and I'll test, I'll tell you. And she went and walked off. <laughs> She's so funny. Um anyway, uh, yes, this was definitely a sight to come and see here. I'm so glad we didn't miss it. Absolutely one of the most beautiful buildings ever. In fact, one thing that I like about places like this, where was the other country where it's like a square? Venice. Yeah. Um, Tom, is it St. Thomas Square? I've got no idea. I'm probably making fun of myself, but I think that's what it's called. Hi. One thing I love about them though is that it's not just one building, it's like a town, it's like a, a square, and then around the square there's just the most stunning buildings. Gorgeous. I think it's fair to say that we're all spaghetti out. That was <laughs> delicious. It was so good. It I was would, really I, nice. I would Okay. Are you have another full one? Jace actually ate all of his. Yeah, the whole thing. He ate the whole thing, Even which he never it. ever usually does. You don't hate it, you loved it. And no. Mila ate pretty much all of hers. It was quite expensive, so I am quite glad that they ate it all. But I think the children's meals were like 11, 10 or 11 pounds or something like that. As I was not listening. It was something like that. Um, and then the adults meals were about 25 so it wasn't like the cheapest but not the most expensive but the point is is that everyone finished so they ate everything pretty much so it was definitely worth it anyway esme yeah do you know what i've got what are you ready for this yeah you'll be impressed oh i'm scared i've got the last season on chocolate <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> If you know, I fam. If you know, you know. Well, technically, mine's in my memory box at home, so I really wanted to be the last because like, every time we've been, I was always one. And the time that I won, I felt like I needed to remember. Yeah, but it. that was not that was my trip, 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 trip ago. No, it wasn't. Trip, trip again. <laughs> yeah, it was last time. Trip, trip ago. Oh. Right, come on, let's get back. Uh, one very quick tram ride and we are back at the campsite. Roddy Bella. Hello. Roddy. Where's Dada? Roddy. <laughs> um, and the girls are next door. We're both on the same pitch. The girls are next door. They're all going to bed and getting ready because we're all super wiped tonight. We've walked far distance today. Mozzie bites are not the one. So it's been eaten by like by mozzies. I have not a single one yet, thank goodness. They even got Mila the other day when we were in the pool at the villa. And they even got Mila when she was running around. So um anyway guys, we're back at the van and we are gonna end it here. We filmed a lot today, so it's gonna crash it and end it. But thank you so much for watching this video and we've got an absolutely insane day tomorrow. We just need some weather. We need the good weather tomorrow. We're looking like we're gonna get it at the minute. So fingers crossed, our luck will flow and it'll be good and we're gonna have the fattest day ever tomorrow. I, I can't wait till the next day though! Oh, the next day's gonna be so good though. But yeah guys, come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in some more Switzerland action. Follow me on TikTok if you want some behind the scenes. Sarah's filming behind the scenes vlogs on TikTok, so if you want to see some behind the scenes of what goes on to make these movie magics, lol. Uh, then go over and follow Sarah on TikTok at the real Sarah Ingham. Until tomorrow. No, it's the real Sarah says. Oh yeah, sorry, it's at, what am I giving false information out for? Sarah's TikTok, at the real Sarah says. My TikTok, at Chris Ingham Official. Although I don't have, I have a massive love-hate relationship with TikTok after losing a couple of accounts over the years for absolutely nothing other than mentioning Escape the Matrix <laughs> or whatever else I've mentioned before now. Um, I'm a rebel mate, I've been banned from TikTok twice. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, it is literally the most ridiculous platform in the entire world. But let's give it another go. Time's free. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Five o'clock. Good night, guys.